Hello everybody, and welcome to my first of hopefully many auto hotkey tutorial videos that I'm going to hopefully be doing. So the first one I actually wanted to start with <clears throat> is um, how to get auto hotkeys to work with Chrome. You know, I've heard a lot of people trying to, you know, do this since it was really more designed for Internet Explorer, but as uh, just recently Microsoft has announced that Internet Explorer is pretty much dead to them, dead to us. Plus, we all love to use Chrome, so I think that counts for like 90% of the population out there is using Chrome these days. A lot of people try to use like Selenium, uh, WebSockets, you know, that kind of stuff. It can be really complicated. It can be a pain. Uh, if you're like me, I work at a company with a lot of like security programs. Um, so Selenium's not really an option or going into debug mode. Um, we need administrator rights to do that, and unfortunately we can't do that. So we're kind of left with uh, very few options. Um, I discovered this program that really helps you. Um, there's a little bit of JavaScript involved, but it's like super easy stuff. So we'll start with the auto hotkey side of it. And um, <clears throat> so the first thing, I'm going to write a very simple script. Everything here is going to be really easy, and in the next video I'll definitely expand on that with um, some cooler tips and tricks on how to get all this to work. So I'll go ahead and start with um, just F1. That's kind of the default I use. And uh, for my job, we like to copy from Adobe over into Chrome. So I'm going to show you kind of how we do that. So the first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to copy an email address over into a field on Chrome. I'll probably just use Facebook. And uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to highlight this text, and I want that text to be transferred. So I'm just going to do a simple send control C to copy that text to the clipboard. I'm then going to want to jump over to Chrome. So I'm going to do window activate HK extension Chrome. And that's going to pull Chrome as the main window for me. I'm then going to do send control alt a. And the reason for that is this is kind of what I'm calling my trigger. It's telling Chrome when to perform the JavaScript. So that will be explained a little bit later in the video. And then for some odd reason, I don't know why this happens, but whenever you do like a send with a control alt or a shift, sometimes the buttons can actually get stuck down I uh, no idea why this happens. If anybody knows, please comment and let me know because it's been a huge pain. Uh, but for now, I just kind of put this, this timer, and I just I set it to 100 milliseconds because it's just kind of like a safety net to make sure that those keys actually do get released and aren't being constantly held down. Um, you know, I've done send, you know, left shift up, but for some reason that never seems to always work. It works like 50% of the time. Like I said, if you know why that's doing that, I would love to know. I've searched the internet, and I can't find anything on that. Um, so as far as the uh, script goes, this is it. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do a very simple uh, script here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, compile that. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, you know this comes with your download. It's just a great way to turn your script into an actual uh, extension or executable. Sorry. So I just named it AHK test for now. I named that the same. So it's compressing, adding. Okay, this is going a little slow for some reason, but there we go. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And to know that it's running, it'll just show up down here on your tray. If you hover over it, it'll show you the name AHK test, so you know it's running for sure. So we're done there. Now we're going to go ahead and open Chrome. And this is the program we're going to want to find. It's called uh, Auto Control Shortcut Manager. And just go ahead and click Add to Chrome, Add Extension. It's free. It's very easy to use. It's great. And boom, we are now into that. 
So we're going to go ahead and create our first action, so new action. We can name it whatever we want up here. So I'm just going to say HK to Chrome test. And then we're going to do our trigger. So our trigger is this right here that we're looking for, that Control-Alt-A. Uh, if you want to know which ones you should use, you can actually Google um, what keyboard combos are not being used by the default OS that you're on. I know Control Alt A through Z are not used, so I usually just stick with those because I'm not really using more than 26 different um, hotkeys on here. So I'm going to go ahead and here I'm going to type in Control Alt A. Shows you there. That means that whenever this line of code hits, Chrome's going to go, oh, hey, I need to perform this action. So our action, we're going to do the drop down. Go to Advanced Actions, Other, Run Script. And this is where we're actually going to use our JavaScript. <clears throat> so I'm going to delete the example here. And all we really need here is one line of JavaScript. And this is going to be the document get element by ID, the ID, email, focus. Uh, the only thing you're ever going to need to change is this right here. And the way to get that, I'm trying to fill this field out right here. You can right click on it, push inspect, and you're going to see the ID right there. So as you see, email, I already got email in there for you. Yeah. So we're going to click out of that. The next thing I want to do after it focuses on that field, I'm going to want it to paste what I had copied from over here. So we can go to clipboard actions, clipboard paste, and that's what we got. Like I said, I'm keeping it short and simple. Uh, my next few videos, I'll go into a lot more complicated stuff you can do on here, you know, cool ways of maneuvering around websites. So now I'm going to go ahead. I got the uh, HK script already running. The auto control configuration is already got everything it goes needs to go. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to push F1. And there we go. It copied uh, from another program, focused it on here, and then paste what I need. And that is what I got for you guys today. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I'm definitely got a whole bunch of content on how to get HK to work with Chrome. And um, I might even do some videos with some um, just neat tricks and stuff you can do with auto hotkeys and more complicated stuff that maybe people don't even know you can do. Um, at my job, I've written hundreds of scripts in AHK. Um, we have one tool that we use there that's I believe it's around 45,000 lines of code in just auto hockey. So it's amazing what you can do with this uh, language. It's really cool. And it's really nice to see that there is a way to carry it over into the future with Chrome. Thank you guys. Uh, subscribe, like, comment with uh, any ideas that you guys have. And I would love to uh, definitely do this again. See you next time.